Republican businessman Bernie Moreno defeating longtime incumbent Senator Sherrard Brown in Ohio as Republicans win control of the Senate. It is our pleasure to bring to you Ohio Senator-elect Bernie Moreno joins us right now. Bernie, good morning and congratulations. Well, thank you very, very much. It's a great honor to be able to represent the people of Ohio. Indeed. And I know I heard you last night and you said, you know, initially you wanted a red wave, but we didn't get a red wave, did we? No, we got a red, white and blue wave. America won last night. We should be so proud of our country. We rejected the extremism of Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz, and we renewed our commitment to make this country a center-right country where we work for the working people of this country. That's what this party is going to do with the leadership of President Trump, and I'm so excited to get to work. Bernie, your speech last night was phenomenal. It was really, really inspiring. We all loved that red, white, and blue line that you said. What exactly do you want to do for the American people, people who didn't vote for you? Because we're all looking at this this morning's show as how can we move forward as a country? Well, we got to get united. Look, I came here from a foreign country, and I'm pleading with the American people to remember the greatness of this nation, the nation that inspired my parents to come here. Let's remember, we live in the greatest country on earth. We got to stop thinking that we're each other's enemies. The way we do that is through successful policies. Our founders got it right. Let's shrink the size of the federal government, move more to the states, massively cut our deficit, have a safe and secure border, have energy dominance here, make certain that we're the leaders of the world, and we ensure peace and stability. If we do that, we'll bring this country together, and the greatest years of this country will be ahead of us, not behind us. You know, Bernie, uh, we witnessed uh, a reckoning. <laughs> I mean, the Hispanic support mm -hmm. yesterday catapulted, comparing to the, from 35% in 2020 to 41%, the black uh, support almost doubled. What is going on with the Republican Party now? Or, or should I say Donald Trump's support, your support? Well, uh, as a Hispanic American, the first South American-born senator, first uh, Hispanic elected statewide, uh, we love this country. We understand that it's a very special place. It's a beacon of freedom and liberty and opportunity. It's not a place where you come to get government handouts or have a government tell you what you want to do. If you wanted that, you would have stayed where you were before. Mm. So those are the things that are, were on the table last night, and the American people got it right. And I am so honored and looking forward to serving with President Trump. Yeah. He knows what it takes to get this country back on track, yep. and we will. And we're going to make this country successful, and that's going to unite us. Senator-elect, you weren't winning in almost any public poll. You're always down by two or three points. You closed the gap. You were yeah. double digits. And is it true that Senator Schumer kind of put money in your candidacy because he thought you were the weaker candidate? He did. And it gave me great joy <laughs> to thank him for that right. and to tell him he was fired as majority leader. Uh, look, I heard freshman senators get office in the base, an office in the basement. I hope uh, the majority leader puts him down there with us. Do you think Chuck Schumer's having a really bad day today, <laughs> Bernie? God, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so what committees do you want to be on? You know, uh, we're going to start working on that. Uh, obviously, commerce and energy uh, matter a lot here in Ohio. Uh, banking, uh, certainly Shady Vance was on that. So I look forward, to, by the way, to being the senior senator from Ohio. Yeah. Uh, so probably those three. We'll look at, uh, we'll look at how the week develops next hey, week. Hey, Bernie, really quickly, what is your story? Columbia, is that where your parents well, I, moved I, in from? I, I came here legally from Columbia, South America with my five brothers and my sister just before my fifth birthday. I got the opportunity to buy a Mercedes dealership from Roger Penske 20 years ago. Mm. Took that one dealership, yeah. made it one of the largest car dealer groups in America, then sold all that, started a technology company that uses blockchain to make car titles digital. Sold that uh, business about a year and a half ago. And now I'm going to be part of making this country great again with President Trump. Look at you. Bernie, Good yeah. for you, Bernie, Bernie. real quick before you leave. Who, who are you going to be so supporting for majority leader? Uh, whomever convinces me that they can bring the entire caucus together, can work with President Trump, and has a vision for getting the agenda implemented. Whoever can do that has my vote. Well, after a late night, thank you very much for getting up early. Congratulations, Bernie. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.